Hi, my name is Richard Albritton, and I'm here to introduce you to the HackyBot, which is a low-cost educational robotics platform. Hi, my name is John Madamba, CEO of Resio Incorporated, and also founder of STEM Academy Innovation Network. We're looking to bring HackyBot into the schools and teaching uh, youth in multicultural neighborhoods how to program and work with robots. Razio was actually looking for a platform that was very cost effective and when we met up with Richard uh, we actually had a project where we were looking to teach professionals about agile methodologies and to leverage a robot with that. Together we've worked on a couple of different workshops and really had the opportunity to get these kits in the hands of, of large groups and see how they interact with it, both adults and children as well. It was basically full of, of engineers that designed spaceships and satellites and, and actual autonomous driving vehicles. Um, and they loved these products because they were very simple and a lot of the comments said that it really brought back home to um, the, the basics that they got started with. Uh, in the last year, we've actually trained about 200 uh, students in low-income neighborhoods where many of them are from multicultural families, refugees, immigrants, as well as high barrier, barrier communities where $25 or even $10 is, is a high barrier. There are programs out there that are so expensive for kids to learn about, this pro about robotics. We want to bring it at a model where it's free or very, very low cost. We've tried to uh, limit the cost as much as possible and to really use very basic components that still allow uh, the children to do the type of robotics that other educational platforms uh, allow. We believe that STEM uh, can be actually extended out to STEAM where we're bringing art, engineering, technology together. The robot is a great platform for that. This is a gateway for kids to get interested in technology. I really wanted to design a piece of hardware that children would, would fall in love with. Yeah, and I think we're changing the game in terms of how STEM delivery can actually be innovative by bringing, them, bringing the, the kids in a, uh, innovation through methodology, learning about the latest uh, architectures, as well as having simplicity in the design in such a way that if a child wants to develop, further develop this and actually add their own flavor to it, they can. Uh, because this is not just a tool for learning about robotics, it's a tool to be creative. They also expand on really what professionals um, are also learning today, which is how do I develop things faster, more efficiently, and also at a lower cost. And this is a perfect uh, platform for that. Really focusing on team building skills and doing a, a, a lot of, of things that people really need to do in the hardware and software community. Working together as a team, uh, sharing information. And our vision is really to, to try to lower the barriers so that youth can actually take this robot and also teach other kids. Um, as we teach kids, we actually engage them through a leadership model, and that is to create mentors. And as mentors develop new teams, we can actually engage this, the children even more effectively because we really want them to feel like they're having fun, they're playing with these robots, understanding what they do, but the end, at the end of the day, it's the soft skills that matter. We're teaching them about project management skills. We're teaching them to be on a team, working on a solution together. We're actually teaching them to be leaders within our community. And we're looking to expand the program within the next year, uh, especially this fall, with these, these type of robots. Where we're bringing it to more schools than ever. It's really enriching the, the, the child's uh, education by providing them not just camps, but also after school programs and enrichment programs that really help the family, not just one kid within our family. And we hope that this journey is going to be as fun for you as it is for us, and I think this is just a starting point. And with your support, I think what we can do is really change the landscape in terms of how children are being taught today. And we believe that the HackyBot is just one tool that we can engage children in. It's going to be a really fun way of uh, reaching out to them.